uh, great, great pictures of an amazing musician taken by a really, really very good photographer. Mm. I worked with Gerard Mankiewicz. Well, worked. I, I got the first time I ever got a chance to pick my own photographer for a session was in about 1984, and I was doing an advert for Box Amps, and uh, they asked me um, what photographer. If I had a wish to have uh, any photographer, who would be? And I picked Gary Mankiewicz because of his, uh, of all this stuff really, and the stuff yeah. with the Rolling Stones and Mario Faithful. So I was a big fan of Gary's for being a, a youngster. Ah, and it's, it's all the really sort of iconic images of Jimi Hendrix as well, isn't it, here that, um, that he yeah. took? Yeah, I mean, we're so used to 60s stars or, or you know, that, the, um, that word iconic is they, you know, obviously very, very overused and used a lot anyway but um, the, what makes some of those people iconic is not just the work they did because they happened to look good because they didn't always look good it was the work of uh, people around them as well and people like Garrett and David Bailey and uh, those kind of people and uh, Ger Garrett's stuff's iconic and obviously um, icon is a word also often attached to yourself Particularly in the <laughs> in the guitarist realm, um, and obviously you're, you're always putting the same sort of list as Jimi Hendrix. I mean, how does that feel? As I, I guess someone who grew up with the music of Jimi Hendrix, to be put in the same yeah, bracket. Yeah, it's amazing, right? It's incredible. I think people who are, uh, I think one of the, one of the ways you stick around is that you do it just to try and be a good musician. You know what I mean? And uh, I, don't, I don't think anyone who uh, who I like. Um, a lot did it to be an icon, you know, or called, called a genius or anything like that. You did it to just try and be an amazing, amazing musician, you know. So, um, but I think that's the thing that great, really great people have in common, whether they're actors or whatever it is they do, you know, they, they try and be great at what they do. And, and Jimi Hendrix was like, not, obviously, super talented naturally, but. You don't get to be that good by just like rolling out of bed and crossing your fingers, you have to work it. Mm, so, uh, indeed. If, if I get any kind of, uh, if, I, if I'm in that list at all, then I, you know, I've been uh, very, very, very fortunate. And final word just on the Oscars, because I know um, you're obviously will be involved this year, won't you, because of your work on Inception, the movie? Yeah. Will you be going to the Oscars? I think so, yeah. Mm. I think so. I mean, I've got a blow out a prior engagement, a prior um, appointment. I've got a couple of things that I was also doing. I just forgot about the Oscars. It wasn't something I even considered. As you do. <laughs> well, it wasn't really on my radar. I forgot that they even existed. It wasn't something I thought about, you know. Mm. I never watched them really, but I'd be really pleased for Hans Zimmer if the, uh, if the original score is won by Inception. Mm. Because it's, I just played the guitar on it. Mm. Would you go up and collect the award, do you think, if it, if it did go? God, no. No? no. So I'm not, even if it was for guitar player and haircut, I would go collect it. <laughs> okay. no, I'm, not, I'm not that confident. <laughs> okay, well, that's great. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Uh,